I'd like to start in the back row and just go name by name by name of all of the people who have supported us from the beginning of this. Um, and then we could go across the country and then across the world, and that would be appropriate. Um, so um, unfortunately, we don't have the time for the musicals start playing and we have to leave. Um, we're talking like this because we haven't talked to, talk to Bo yet. We haven't called him on the phone. Um, although you all know we have, we have the capability to do that with satellite technology. There's reason for that, and that's because Bo has been gone so long um, that it's going to be very difficult to come back. It's like a diver going deep on a dive and, and has to stage back up through recompression to get the nitrogen bubbles out of the system. If he comes up too fast, it could kill him. Now we're pretty resilient, Danny pointed out. Bo is still very resilient. He's passed through all the checkpoints with flying colors. Um, but this is very well organized. Um, as you can see by the gentleman on, on the end of the row there, Doc Poppin. Uh, he's our SEER psychologist. He is one of the men running this uh, recovery and reintegration. And we've known Doc for how long? Four or five, five, th the first year, the first summer, I think. So going all, all the way back there, um, we've had this kind of support uh, behind us. And we're proud of that. We were, we were always content with that. And uh, it's so big and include so many people that there's no way we can thank them all. So if we, if we did, we would miss people and then we'd feel guilty and, and we don't want to do that. So Bo, let me say to you, let me start over again now that I've explained the context of this. Bo, I love you. I'm your father, Zeabayem. I've written to you over and over. Can you speak English still? I would write him. But now, um, I hope that when you hear this, and when you're ready to hear this, and when you see this, um, I hope your English is coming, coming back. And I want you to know that I love you. I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of your character. I'm so th proud of your patience and your perseverance. I'm so proud of your cultural abilities to adapt, your language skills, your, your desire, and your action to serve this country in a very difficult, long war. But most of all, I'm proud of how much you wanted to help the Afghan people and what you were willing to do to go to that length. I'll say it again. I'm so proud of how far you were willing to go to help the Afghan people. And I think you have succeeded. <laughs> 